Don't forget, ko-fi.com slash stop writing alone is a real simple way to show your support for what's going on here week after week. Hi, everyone. This is Nicole Rivera, and you're listening to the Stop Writing Alone podcast for writers who are looking for their writing community. I know you want to find readers for your work, but I think your first step is to connect with other writers. That's what we're going to do here in the Stop Writing Alone podcast. We'll do writing prompts and other writing group activities, discover online writing communities, learn how to find local writing groups, or how to make your own. Join us as we explore, learn, and write. Hi everyone, this is Nicole Rivera and you're listening to the Stop Writing Alone podcast. And while I thought I'd be done with all the weirdness of recording, I am coming to you today from an exercise bike. (laughs) So at home I have one piece of exercise equipment and that is an exercise bike because I have this wonky back issue and I have discovered that when my back flares up, the number one thing that helps me sort of even it out is just a bike ride, whether it's actual getting on my bike and going outside, taking a bike ride or hopping on my um, exercise bike in my basement, which living in New York is something that you need because you can't hop on your bike in the middle of January in the snow. At least I can't. (laughs) Anyway, woke up this morning at my in-law's house and my back was feeling all kinds of weird, so I am in their gym clubhouse thing here. There's no one around and I realized it's Wednesday and I wanted to talk to you guys about the next what if prompt on tomorrow's episode. So today's Harry Potter's birthday, July 31st. And the July what if prompt was what if magic really exists? And that was basically backing out of the whole Harry Potter thing saying, what is the what if that came from that novel? This month I'm reading a bunch. I have a bunch of different books that I'm reading. I'm reading, um, Rob Hart's The Warehouse, which I think we're definitely going to discuss very sometime soon, and um, Recursion by Blake Crouch. Those are my two adult novels. But I'm also in the Barnes & Noble YA book club, and this month's book is Wilder Girls by Rory Power. And I actually haven't started the book yet. However, The tagline for the book is something like, what happens when uh, Lord of the Flies happens to a bunch of girls? And Lord of the Flies was one of my favorite books as a child, as were many of those types of books that sort of surround this one big what if question. And that's what I want our prompt to be for August. The writing prompt for the month of August is going to be, what if you were stranded on an island? And again, I think I discussed this last month when I presented the prompt, that when I say you, it doesn't have to be you specifically. It could be a protagonist. It could be, as in Lord of the Flies, a group. But this whole concept of being stranded on an island. Um and do what you want with it. Same rules apply. If you want to write a short story, if you want to write a poem, a scene, a song, the goal is to write something that you are inspired to write about when you think about being stranded on an island. What if you were stranded on an island? Some of my favorite books from my childhood come from this what if and that is Robinson Crusoe. I read pretty young. I think it was probably like an adapted version for children. I don't know if I read the actual Robin Crusoe. Island of the Blue Dolphins, another fantastic book that I read as a child. Like I said, Lord of the Flies was a huge one for me. So 
it's something that I'm always sort of tinkering with, and I think it'll be fun to write something this month based on that prompt. With that said, you have basically, um, I'm going to say probably about a week, a little less than a week, to call in your prompt uh, answers from last month, which was What If Magic Really Exists, because I will be recording the episode with all of our stories and everything, poems and songs and that stuff uh, for next week. So as long as you get it to me, let's say by August 5th, either calling in, which is 646-907-9607, or emailing me your version of your response to the prompt at my email at nvrivera.com mail, that's M-A-I-L, at gmail.com, then I think uh, you should be able to get your story up on the podcast this week, coming up. But that's pretty much it, guys. Our prompt for this week is, what if you were stranded on an island? And if you want to read Wilder Girls by Rory Power to chat it up with me, I'm really looking forward to this book, because like I said, I love Lord of the Flies. The only issue for me was that it was all about boys which I was not, (laughs) so I thought it would be fun to read this book. That sounds like it was the book I had been asking for since I was a child. But also, if you uh, get a chance to get Rob Hart's book, The Warehouse, which is coming out this month, but it's coming out later this month. It's a really, really interesting story. Um, I did start it because he gave me an, an arc, which is... ARC, Advanced Reader Copy, when I ran into him at BookCon, and the whole premise of his book, it's all about a company similar to something like Amazon, well, it's probably even more than Amazon, but it's basically a company that has taken over all of our civilization where people work and live and um, everything. But a real interesting read, particularly now in this time when we are uh, seeing a shift in our commerce and a shift in uh, the types of companies that we support. I don't know. It's uh, it's pretty interesting. I'm just getting started. I, I didn't get as much reading done at the theme parks as I thought I would. I don't know why I thought I would get any reading done, but um, yeah, that's where I'm at. And I will be headed home hopefully soon, hopefully um, by the time I'm recording the next episode. So there will be no more of this weirdness and we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program with interviews and not recording in gyms and lanai's and backyards. But thanks for listening, guys. I really, really look forward to hearing and reading your stories about being stranded on an island because they are some of my favorite things to read. So, uh, yeah, write something and share it. And it's the same thing, you know, once you get that done, call in 646-907-9607 or uh, write in on the email. Okay, thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. So, Alex, what do you think of this podcast? I gave Mommy five stars. Stop writing alone is also nice, right? Thanks, Alex. That was really easy. You just gave me a review in two sentences. You gave me five stars, and you said stop writing alone is awesome. That helped so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now it's your turn. Give my mommy a review. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the Stop Writing Alone podcast wherever you're listening to this episode today. Then connect with us on Facebook at Stop Writing Alone Facebook page or in the Stop Writing Alone with Nicole Rivera Facebook group. Check Instagram or Twitter where I'm at NV underscore Rivera to find links to our email newsletter.
Recording, hosting, editing, producing. It's so much work. Disaster has struck. I finished my coffee. Tell me coffee is coming. ko-fi.com slash stop writing alone.